Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am so excited because we are finishing up this bathroom makeover. I feel like I've been working on this forever. You might too. Took longer than I expected it to, but a few more projects to go and this room will be done. All right, I definitely feel like we need a quick recap. The first thing was these floors. That was a whole video, a couple videos actually, and replacing the toilet. And then in my last video, we finished off this vanity, which looks completely different from where it started. It's taller, it's got a new countertop, and just so much done to this vanity. So, what we need to do now is get some paint on these walls. They are kind of a gray color, so I'm going to go ahead and prime everything to give us a good base because we're going in with a light color on top of that. So I've got my paint clothes on, ready to go. Let's get this room painted. After the primer was dry, I went in with this white paint color that I used in the rest of my house. You can see that it's a little bit warmer, much more of a creamy soft white. It is two parts Chantilly Lace by Benjamin Moore and one part Simply White because I am ridiculous and I had a hard time finding a white paint color, but I seriously regret it because I wish I just had like one paint color that I could go pick up a gallon of instead of having to mix them into a combo. Okay, we need to let that paint dry for a while and it is now five o'clock and I am exhausted and trying to figure out what I want to cook for dinner and I do this like every day. So I'm really excited that today's sponsor is Green Chef because this is really going to help me out with feeding my family. So Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company that is a meal kit service. You can go onto their website. They have lots of different options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you can pick something that's catered to your lifestyle like keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. And with a variety of easy to follow recipes with something new to discover each week, you'll never get bored of eating the same thing. And their doorstep delivery lets you skip the grocery store while pre-portioned ingredients and pre-made sauces make cooking on busy weeknights so much easier. Especially if you're like my family and the kids always have practice or something like that in the evening, and it's nice not to have to think about dinner. For a limited time, Green Chef will plant one tree for every box sold with the organization One Tree Planted in honor of Earth Month. So use my code KELSEY60 and get 60% off plus free shipping. So just go to greenchef.com for more details and try out Green Chef for your family. Okay, everything dried overnight and it's crazy how much brighter it is in here. Now I'm sure you were like, why didn't you paint the bottom of this wall? And you can probably guess it's because we are doing an accent wall right here, so there was no point in painting behind it. But a lot of you are always worried when I paint on these floors, but I wanna show you something. These are the easiest floors to clean. All I do is take a wet rag and it just wipes right up. I also get tons of questions about these under cabinet lights and I don't have a link for them because this is how they came when we bought the house and they are motion detected. So it just cut off. But if I move around a lot, they will cut back on. So I don't have a link, but they're little strips and they're hardwired. And this is what they look like. So now on to the accent wall. Now I wanna do a vertical shiplap look but I'm always all about saving money. So 
I am going to use paneling from Home Depot and it looks just like shiplap, but it's gonna save me about $100 to do this wall behind me. So the shiplap panels are very thin, I think like a quarter of an inch, and so they would slip behind the flooring here, and I didn't want to have to use quarter around there. So I'm taking a one by four and just nailing that in. I found my studs and I'm using two inch brad nails to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere and checking to make sure that it's level, and then I will bring in the shiplap panels. I wanted to let you guys know something that I just realized when I went to Home Depot to get these panels they only had two left and both of them were damaged but they were on the end and I was like oh well I'll just buy them because I only needed I think it was 60 something inches up so I could just cut that off they ended up giving me the panels for 70% off because they were damaged so each of these panels cost me about ten dollars i was really excited about that because i was able to save a lot of money and still get the look that i wanted So this wall is a little over nine feet, and so I was going to need to put two boards together for the top and bottom one by fours. And I'm using a technique, this is called splicing. When you cut the boards at a 45 degree angle and put them together versus a butt joint where you butt the two pieces of wood up against each other. And it helps to hide the seam a lot better. All right, the wall is ready to paint. And I was originally thinking I was gonna do this jogging path color, but I like this greener color so much that I think I wanna do it on this opposite wall too. I don't think it'll be too much for this room. So we're gonna do that. And if you're wondering why I'm not using my favorite green frog tape, this is actually yellow frog tape. It's made for delicate surfaces that are like specifically freshly painted is why I'm using it. So that won't pull paint off of our newly painted wall when we pull the tape off. Okay, the first coat is done on this wall. It's gonna need a second, possibly third coat. So while we wait on that to dry, let's go ahead and switch this out. I picked up this light fixture um, like over two years ago now before we bought the house I'm thinking I was gonna go with chrome but I am going to spray paint it a brassy color and I think it's gonna look really nice in the bathroom because it has like globes too so that'll give it a little bit of curves and soften everything up
Okay, this wall might need one more light coat, but we're gonna let that dry. So I wanna address this right here. So the flooring ends, but we really need to seal this up so no water gets through here because it can damage these floors. And so I'm just gonna take some like caulking made for bathrooms, which is waterproof, and I'm gonna run a bead along here and then we'll go in with some quarter round to kind of seal that gap. Okay, fingers crossed, this is the last day of this project. The accent wall is looking really good, just have to do a few small touch-ups. And now we need to put a mirror back in this bathroom. So I've never glued a mirror on the wall before. So I might have gone crazy with the adhesive. I'm not really sure, but I did not want to take any chances, especially being in my kid's bathroom. And I wanted to make sure to tell you guys if you're going to do this to use an adhesive that's for mirrors because a lot of the adhesives that I was looking at would say not to be used on mirrors and so I didn't realize that beforehand so just letting you guys know. Okay the mirror is up and while it's drying I made a frame for it. I looked at like purchasing a mirror for in here, but oh my goodness, they're super expensive. So I took this mirror that was here before and I brought it to a glass place and had them cut it down for me to the size that I wanted. And then I just got some wood trim pieces and I trimmed it on my table saw, notched it out. So it'll sit on top of the mirror like this. And I 45 the corner, so it'll just be a simple little frame. So I'm gonna glue and use some brad nails to nail that together and then sand and stain it. And it'll kind of just sit on top of the mirror. So I used two pieces of trim to do this that were about $10 a piece. So this mirror cost me about $20 to frame, which is way better than the prices I was seeing online. Because the wood is pine i used a wood conditioner first before i went in with this stain this is early american by minwax it's one of my favorites but it just helps the stain to go on more evenly and then i let it dry and then i took it upstairs to the bathroom and put it in place and i just used a few brad nails to nail it into the wall just to hold it securely because again this is a kid's bathroom so i want to make sure that everything is literally nailed down I decided to add some floating shelves that I built. I have an entire video showing how I built some floating shelves. So I just kind of threw these together to go above this toilet and stained them the same color to match that mirror, just as an accent. So I'll have a space to be able to display things in the bathroom. Okay, I did not get everything done yesterday because of soccer practice and kids, but just a few more things to get done today, some last minute touches, and this bathroom will be done.
I cannot believe how far this bathroom has come. When I gave my upstairs home tour before renovations, somebody pointed out in the comments that this is the only room that I said that I hated. And that was because no matter how much you cleaned it, it still looked dirty and I just did not enjoy ever being in this room. And it was a space for guests, so it was also pretty important that I fix it up. So before I show you how everything turned out, let's take a look back one more time to see where we started first. The bathroom is finally done. It's taken a couple of months, it had some hiccups along the way, but I love how it came out. And most importantly, I think my kids are going to love it too. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think, what was your favorite part, and I will be back next week with a new video and I will see you guys then. Bye.